Hello everyone. Today we will discuss one of my favorite poems in memoriam. Actually it's a very huge poem so we'll just take a part of it. And basically in memoriam is a collection of poems. And one of the poems in that is in uh, Ring Out Wild Bells. So we'll discuss that. If I can tell you some background about that poem it will be very interesting. This poem was written by Alfred Lord Tennyson and he wrote it when his friend died his friend's name was Arthur Henry Hallam and he died at a very young age at the age of probably 22 and he was supposed to marry Tennyson's sister Emily so when Arthur died he was Tennyson was shattered and he wanted to express his sorrow, his grief by poem and he started writing that poem in 1833 and he finished that poem in 1849. You can imagine how long he took to write this poem and it's one of the masterpieces in English literature and in this poem he doesn't just talk about his sense of loss or sense of grief but he also talks about wider is issues of human life. He talks about religion, he talks about faith, he talks about Jesus Christ, he talks about, I would call it a commentary on the society of that time. Because what people thought at that time, he tries to uh, share with us via his poem. So it's a masterpiece. Certain parts you will feel that they are extremely sad, rejected, the writer was rejected. But then there are certain parts where he overcomes his grief. So the part which I have taken today, ring out wild bells. So I will read that first and then probably we will discuss certain features of the poem. Ring out wild bells by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Ring out wild bells to the wild sky, the flying cloud, the frosty light, the year is dying in the night. Ring out wild bells and let him die. Ring out the old, ring in the new, ring happy bells across the snow. The year is going, let him go. Ring out the false, ring in the true. Ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more. Ring out the feud of rich and poor, ring in redress to all mankind. Ring out a slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife, ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, purer laws. Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes, but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Ring out old shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing lust of gold. Ring out the thousand wars of old. Ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant man and free, the larger heart the kindlier hand, ring out the darkness of the land, ring in the Christ that is to be. You can have a look at the text that you have, Ring Out Wild Bells by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Ring out wild bells to the wild sky, the flying cloud, the frosty light, the year is dying in the night, ring out wild bells and let him die. So here he talks about the end of the year. Now here the word, many words are not easy to understand whether he refers to uh, his friend Arthur by him or whether he refers to Jesus Christ or whether he refers to Santa Claus, whatever it is. But the message is whatever is old is about to end now. So ring out wild bells to the wild sky. Ring out the old, ring in the new. So whatever is old, whatever is bad, here the comparison is between bad and good. So old is bad, that is over now. Forget about that. So ring out the old, ring in the new. 
ring happy bells across the snow and here he talks about the end of the year so you can imagine christmas time right new year time and that's why many words are if you see the first stanza you will have words like uh, flying cloud frosty light the year is dying and now we have happy bells across the snow the year is going let him go ring out the falls ring in the true right so old bad things they should now end and good things happy things should now happen that's his wish ring out the grief that saps the mind now grief means sadness and that sadness saps the mind it troubles you tortures you right it takes energy out of you it drains energy out of you so he says that now ring out the grief let it let it be over we have had enough of grief so ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more means those people who have died everyone has experienced this in fact this poem is very popular because everyone can relate to it many human emotions are in this poem so for those that here we see no more everyone has experienced some or the other person in the family or in close circle time right so we have experienced sadness but how long do you continue that sadness after some time you overcome that grief and you start living your normal natural life so ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more ring out the feud of rich and poor so those who are rich and those who are poor there is a quarrel between them there is some kind of dispute between them so let's end this dispute ring in redress to all mankind ring in redress like whatever damage has been made we let's compensate for that right so let's remove all the strives all the problems all the disputes and be happy ring out a slowly dying cause an ancient forms of party strife now here he might be talking about uh, politics two groups of people and there is some sort of dispute so he says that now let's come out of it all this abuse and talking bad things about each other instead of that ring in the nobler modes of life let's become noble better with sweeter manners purer laws right so good society let's make a good society right ring out the want the care the sin like all these negative things want miss lack let's end this lack of this and that the care the sin the faithless coldness of the times now that was the time actually if you see tennyson's time when people started doubting everything people started doubting uh, religion faith so they were asking questions they were asking proofs of everything so there was no faith so he talks about that the faithless coldness of the times so let's come out of it ring out ring out my mournful rhymes means i have pain a lot of grief and i am also singing sad songs now let's come out of it he tells himself now let my mournful rhymes go and in place of that but ring the fuller minstrel in minstrel is a performer right so the whole uh, orchestra all performers let's come and celebrate forget about the past bad things sad things ring out false pride in place and blood in th those days also people had false pride uh, about different things right they used to take pride in their place in their community in the religion this and that right false patriotism also so ring out this false pride the civic slander and the spite slander is criticizing others right talking bad things about others and spite again ill will towards others so let's stop this all these negative things and what should we bring in ring in the love of truth and right positive things only ring in the common love of good <coughs> excuse me ring out old shapes of foul disease ring out the narrowing lust of gold people have become so much money minded 
right? Lust of gold is love for money. So he says that let's stop this. Ring out the thousand wars of old. People have seen so many wars in history. So he says now let's end these wars. Enough of in, enough of this. Ring in the thousand years of peace because mankind will be happy only when there is peace. Ring in the valiant man and free, the larger heart, the kindlier hand. This man should be able to live his life to the full. And that is possible only when there is good environment, positive, happy environment. Ring out the darkness of the land. Darkness means all negativity, whatever is there in, the, in, in society, in life, in human life. Let's end that. And ring in the Christ that is to be. I hope you like this poem.